this is Confessions of a Main Street Mom. I'm Bergen and I have my little guy here with me today to talk to you about a stress-free packing list for Disney. We've been quite a few times with him now, um, so I feel like I have it down where I can share it with you guys, make it so much easier. So stick around, I'm gonna get this little guy to bed and I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back, and before I go over all the essential items to bring with you to have a magical time on your trip, I wanted to show you all the cute little items that I got for my little guy to wear. Here's the first one, cute little Darth Vader outfit, and this, it's a PJ set actually. Little pants. And then the next one, we're going during Christmas time, so cute little Mickey with a Santa hat shirt. It'll be a little chilly, so some long sleeves. I thought this was so cute. And it says, rule the galaxy on it. And then another Star Wars one, because the new ride just opened. I just love this camo, I think it's so cute. It says Star Wars on it. And all these items are from Target, um, and I used the Target Circle app to get a little discount on it, so make sure you check that out. Little Buzz Lightyear, and you already saw him wearing his Woody set, and those are little pants for the Buzz Lightyear one. So up next, I will go over all the essential items for you to bring to have a magical time on your trip. Um, and if you do like these videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you can be updated on our new videos. Hey guys, I am back and I'm ready to go over all the items that you need to bring with you on a Disney vacation for your little one. So to start off, number one, toiletries. So things like diaper cream, um, lotion, shampoo, a nail file, and clippers. You probably wanna bring those because their nails grow pretty fast depending on how long you're gonna be there for. You don't want them scratching their face. Um, for our little guy, we bring um, a nose Frida and saline because he gets a stuffy nose a lot. Um, also a thermometer and medicine. So on our trips in the past, our little guy's gotten sick before and it was really nice having that thermometer and medicine on hand just in case um, because you know, there's so many germs around, so many new people, so they could get sick. Hopefully not, but they could. Um, but if you don't wanna bring that with you, you can always get that at the Disney Resort shop or um, a nearby Publix or something like that. And then at the DDC Resorts where we stay, um, in the one, be one bedroom and greater rooms, they have a washer and dryer, so we like to bring um, baby detergent with us. Um, and then don't forget the toothbrush and toothpaste, that's really important because they're gonna be eating lots of sweets <laughs> while they're there, so make sure to bring those too. All right, so number two, meal time. Um, so you definitely wanna bring some foods from home, like pouches or little snack bars that they're familiar with because the food at the parks might be a little different than they're used to, so you wanna have a backup just in case. And as always, you can always order those from Instacart or Publix um, if you don't wanna travel with them. Um, definitely bring a sippy cup. And then I really like those disposable mats that you can put on the table. Um, they usually have like a sticky bottom, so they stick on the table. Um, I just don't like having to worry about wiping down all the tables um, and the little one eaten right off the table. So I really like those. Um, helps keep things clean and keep the germs away. And don't forget a bib. I really love those long sleeve bibs. I think they're perfect for on the go because it keeps their cute little outfits, their cute little Disney outfits nice and clean. Um, and that way after mealtime, you just take it off and you're all good. You don't have to do your clothes change. All right guys, number three, bedtime. <laughs> Okay, so if your little one sleeps in a sleep sack, definitely bring that with you. Um, you wanna try to keep things as normal as possible since they're gonna be in a new environment. Um, so bring their sound machine too if you can or get a little portable one that'll help to drown out any noises. Um, I know if you do stay at the hotels, the Disney hotels around the monorail, um, sometimes you can hear the fireworks at night from the room and also the boat horn. So definitely bring that sound machine to help drown that out and let the little one have a good night's sleep to have a good day the next day. And then a pack and play. 
so the Disney resorts have their own but I just like to bring our own um, with us so that little guy can use the one that he always uses um, and then we have a special quilted sheet that we bring to put on the, the mattress um, but the Disney resorts do have their own pack and play and a sheet too so you don't have to worry about that if you don't want to and then for sleep also um, pacifiers whatever they use at home um, and we bring our baby monitor because we have our little guy in a separate area than us in the hotel rooms if we do like a one bedroom DVC resort or even if we kind of put him secluded in an area like in the hallway or something of the studio um, that way we can keep an eye on him um, so that's always good too if you're able to bring it but you don't need it number four stroller definitely need a stroller so don't forget it um, little guys gonna get more tired so you definitely need somewhere to put them um, some people bring an umbrella stroller and that's totally fine it's super easy to bring around but personally I love our regular stroller we have the up a baby Vista and it's so nice that it reclines um, so you know our little guy gets so much more tired while we're at Disney because there's so much stimulation um, and excitement so he'll actually take a nap in the stroller um, while we're in the park so we don't even need to go back to the hotel for nap time which is really nice and he does not do that at home <laughs> um, so a reclining stroller is definitely a plus and if you're going to be using a car definitely don't forget that car seat um, also for our stroller I'm gonna show you guys we have this cover that is so handy for nap time in the stroller and it's snooze shade brand I got it on Amazon it has a little zipper so you can peek at them and it helps to block the Sun and also the sound so it's really nice um, but it does get a little stuffy sometimes um, so we always bring a stroller fan to clip and keep some circulation in there which is really nice and then also you're gonna want like a poncho for the stroller too you can get that at the park or ahead of time um, just something to block the rain because we all know it rains a lot in Orlando um, and then for Sun you want a hat and some sunglasses maybe for the little guy um, and definitely bring sunblock too we don't want them getting burnt okay number five do not forget the diapers and wipes that's super important and you will go through so many of them so bring enough but if you do run out don't worry because you can always get some more at the Disney resorts or even Publix um, in Orlando so don't worry about that number six you're gonna want to bring some books a few toys teethers if they're teething just something to keep them entertained while they're waiting in lines um, because they can get a little bored so definitely bring that and that'll help too number seven don't forget the PJs the socks the shoes the sandals um, even a bathing suit if you want to go swimming um, and then of course the regular clothes and pants and shorts that's a must okay guys well that is my list thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it I hope you liked my video and always remember subscribe and hit the bell to be updated on new video content we are going to Disney next week so I will have a ton of new content for you guys um, so you're definitely gonna want to check that out the new Disney's Riviera Resort is having a grand opening and I will be there shooting everything for you guys so definitely check back with me um, and you can see all the new content of the Disney Riviera Resort which will be so exciting and if you want to follow me in real time while I'm there in Disney definitely check out my Instagram profile it is at confessions of a Main Street mom and I will put it in the video for you guys that way you can follow me in real time and see everything that I'm seeing in Disney thanks guys have a good day